Hey Clashers, everyone likes free stuff, right? This is why we're going to talk about a couple of things you can claim right now for free. And to start things off, that is for the new event and that is the creator link, which Super says short shares with every single event. You can either use the QR code or use the link down below in the description of the video to claim the voucher to overall get 150 of the ice cubes and on top of that 150 medals, which you can use in the trader to exchange for ores or any other magic item you would like to buy in there or at least to make sure that you have more metals and somehow be more flexible when buying anything but that is not only the thing which is right now free to claim for a clasher supercell has reworked their supercell store this thing right there if you're on the website which is linked down below as well you want to go for clash of clans if you're playing clash and there are some actually crazy insane offers on this website where you can buy the offers and all of the magic items obviously but you get points which are important on this website as well which i will explain in just a second on top of that you can get the gold pass on this website the same as the event pass if you are buying the gold pass you can get overall well you you can collect them and if you have bought overall six gold passes on this website you can get a um, universal book for free which is quite nice I am really hoping that they're adding the event pass in this thing as well eventually, which would be then even more cool, I guess. But for now, it is nice to have all the gold pads if you're thinking about buying that. Otherwise, you can pretty much buy all of the different offers on this website as well now. And when buying so, you can get those points which are relevant for this website. And they're now relevant over here. You have overall a pass you can progress through with buying, for example, offers. Don't worry, there are challenges as well, which you can do for free to play. And you can get some of those rewards as well. So there is a ton of things you can unlock, obviously. And you will need to spend a lot of money to actually get through all of that. We will just buy a couple of the offers and see how far we can get. But on top of that, there is challenges which you can do every couple of days. And you can get points for that as well. I want to be super clear, those points are not that much. So you won't get the craziest amount of free stuff on this website. But for every future player, player, I mean, 100 gems is not that bad, right? Like you take that, no problem. There's another trading potion as well on the menu, which you should easily claim and everything if you make those challenges and unlock everything. So overall, quite a nice change. So this means every future player, player has something of actually visiting this website. And if you want to buy stuff, it's even more efficient as doing it in game. Let's just put everything um, in there. I will buy it so we can see how far we can progress through this pass on the website, I guess. And on top of that, explain quickly why this is the case, why there's more efficient offers on this website. First off, whenever there's an offer in the game, um, Supercell does not take the money direct from you, kind of. It's more like it's going with a huge cut of like 30% or something to the App Store. And then the rest of the money is going to Supercell, even like with taxes and stuff like that. But if they're doing it on the website, this is then going pretty much direct to Supercell, where then the difference is of why this additional pass, I guess, of like extra rewards is somehow making sense then. And well, that's kind of the reason behind the website. But now let's take a look at how far we can make it. Obviously, by the way, you can put a creator code in there as well. If you want to support me in the channel, make sure to use code Itsu. I really appreciate that. But overall, when we have bought every single uh, thing which we want to buy with the offers and with the event pass and everything, well, let's take a look at how far we can progress through the pass actually with those offers. So you can tell most of the offers have been bought. We have bought the um, gold pass as well to make sure that we claim a free universal book. And overall, we have gotten kind of nice. Not the crazy progression actually, considering how much I just bought. So... I guess I take the freebies, but well, not the biggest difference. But let's go back into the account because now we get everything which we just unlocked with the different offers, with the different um, gem packs we kind of got from the pass and everything and see how far we make it. Because obviously for thumbnails and everything, we're always trying to collect as many magic items as possible on my main account. No big surprise, right? Like content creators always try to hoard those magic items so they can put them on thumbnails because I just... It's just stupid otherwise if you put just randomly amount of magic items onto your thumbnail because that's just literally clickbaiting, right? So we have got now all of the offers in there. I've gotten all of the magic items and we're looking really good for the next update then hopefully. But obviously we have as well unlocked the gold pass and the event pass token. For the event pass, if you're buying uh, a token on their website, you can activate that then in-game whenever you want. So you don't have to do it for this event 
you can do it for the next, whatever. And you can as well send this token to a friend, which is in your super CLD ID friend list, for example. But that, that's kind of nice as well. If you want to send it to like your second account, third or a friend or something, uh, that works there as well. But for now, we have bought some of those medals as well. I will highly recommend you to not buy the blue ore, especially if you're free to play. Concentrate on the purple ore on the starry ore. Those are the two important things which probably you are lacking and you're trying to somehow collect and somehow trying to, I don't know, get from somewhere to upgrade your stuff. So I highly recommend to go for the glowy or the starry ore. Not for the blue one. It's like really, really inefficient, especially in this trailer. Like the, the price is just nonsense, to be honest. But this now means that at this point with having everything kind of like unlocked and done and stuff, I'm looking really good when it comes down to progression because I think this is the first time ever after the Tunnel 16 update that my main account is actually maxed out. And now I'm talking about like equipment, we're talking about defenses, uh, research lab, everything. Everything now finally maxed out after a long time. And this just shows like even someone who's like paying as much as I am, Take some time to get maxed out. It's crazy right now with all of those equipments. But hey, now with still having some of those ores to unlock in the trader and with all of the magic items stacked, we want to make sure that we're progressing in the event pass a bit further because, well, then we can unlock even more ores. Then we're well prepared for whatever next equipment might come. And this then means that we're well set because there's still more ore to, to unlock. I don't want to gem this this pass that would be kind of stupid right so we don't want to jam it uh, instead we want to do some attacks so let's do it and we're in with my current favorite strategy it is the fireball army and i'm doing some adjustments at the moment i might keep trying around i feel like that's the important thing which is do not try to just like stick to one and the first possible option try around a lot of stuff and right now that's what i'm doing with a royal champion i'm trying out the haste vial with the shield like with the royal champion shield uh because i think that's a lot of damage but now let's concentrate on the attack and see what we can do here i would love to get the fireball onto the scatter shop because that should take down the clan castle as well so let's do that get the fireball ready and now fireball let's go clan castle should be gone that's exactly what i'm looking for now we're taking a look at on the left side for the flinger. Double checking if there is any Tesla or ground traps. Water now is looking good. Let's do test soon so there is no black mines or any surprises for the warden. And this already looks pretty solid. Whenever there's an invisibility tower near the core, obviously it can be kind of annoying, but typically it should be no problem. So we wait now for the flinger and everything to work alongside with each other. Give it a bit of time. And the cool thing now with the Royal Champion is that you have even more damage at the end. That's like the thing with the Royal Champion. The combination of the Haste Vial and the Royal Gem is probably the most consistent in my opinion. But for that to really like make sure that it really works, the Royal Champion needs to be on the field as long as possible. Because this is kind of what it's all about with the passive damage increase kind of that equipment which is going to be uh, like which is why this is so strong the combination but for that to really make a lot of damage you need to have the royal champion on the field for a lot of like a long time which is not the case for the strategy you have it like in the end to clean some things up and that's pretty much it so that's what i personally am preferring um to try around and, and try different stuff and right now i think this might be a really good combination for now we should be getting ready to make sure that we finish things off on the back end we have now Warden keep trying, keep doing what he's doing best. Like this. Oh, like that. Turn that invisible. We have the Barbarian King. Where do we use it? I think we use it on the left side. Clean up and then dive into that compartment. Making sure the Warden is staying alive. We can use another Rage here. I think we have to use the Queen ability to make sure that she's not going down through her ability or anything like that. Warden's getting targeted again, but I think that is too late. So he should stay alive. King ability. That's already looking great, guys. I think... That should be completely wrecked, I believe. Let's do some more Warwick so we get into the core. Make sure that we have the multitasking of turning that invisible, the warner staying alive. The Royal Gem at this point is more, most of the time more like clean up or like to sniper certain defense. And well, we don't even really need to deploy her, I guess, but just put everything on the left side here. Everything in there, raise things up, freeze this. Royal Gem and shield, another freeze right there. And that should be it, another free stuff for us. That's how things can look like with this combination. I love it. And this is like the cool thing, as I said, like every single equipment in some way can be used. And I think for this specific attack strategy, it's, it's kind of nice to have the shield. 
because it's a lot of damage in a really short amount of time. And I don't have a Royal Champion on the battlefield for such a long time. Why I currently think it might be a good combination. That's why I'm giving it a try and trying it out, obviously. That's another big problem, though, with the equipments. Because if you don't have them maxed, it's hard to try them out. That's like the big downside right now of them. But hey, we all know that the equipments are not perfect at the moment. But Super Safe is approving things slowly. Let's put it that way. And I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope I was able to give you some more information about currently the Super Cell store, what's going on over there, and as well uh, some maybe new inspiration when it comes down to attacking. I will see you guys back tomorrow with the next Clash video. I will see you back then, until then, and bye-bye.